Hey, what's up, everyone? So, um, I wanted to talk really quick about uh, the the growing trend um, today with beards. Now, <clears throat> there's a lot of information out there, and, there, and a lot of it is um, a lot of it is good. <clears throat> but there's there's a problem with people who are inexperienced when growing beards, right? <clears throat> so, a little short history of me. I am currently um, I'm a very um, I'm a very religious guy. I, I believe in God. I believe in Yeshua. And <clears throat> the idea of the Nazarite vow, right? The Nazarite vow is in uh, Numbers 6, 1 through 21. And it talks about these people who um, made the vow to God. It's, a, it's, to, it's to separate yourself. And basically, <clears throat> it's, the, it's like Samson was a Nazarite, right? Samson um, had his power, in, and if he... <clears throat> If he cut his hair, did he, if he cut his hair, if he ate from the grapevine, and if he touched a body, all of his strength went away, and eventually that happened. But <clears throat> there's some of us who um, we can't take the vow because of the temple not being there. But some of us um, want to honor God by growing our beard and not trimming it, and that's what I do. So <clears throat> the good thing about this is I'm not saying that anybody has to um, do anything religious with their beard, but I'm talking about beards in general now. So, <clears throat> the good thing about beards is, um, or the good thing about growing your beard and not cutting it is, a lot of people, they start growing their beards, right? <clears throat> and there's these misconceptions that if you shave more often, that um, it's going to grow in thicker and darker, and the science is, is on both sides. A lot of people say, no, that's not true. A lot of people say that is true. Um, I noticed that my beard didn't um, start growing in thick until about two years after I served in the military, which was when I was 27. <clears throat> and when I was a kid, I didn't have a beard at all. And so it just came with time. It's also genetics too, but because <clears throat> I'm nor I'm, my, my ancestry is from Norway. But one thing I want to say is that if you want to grow a beard, um, don't let it grow about an inch and then start playing with it and all that stuff. The, the good thing about having a beard is that it shows that you're patient. Like a lot of a lot of these people who grow beards and stuff like that, and they grow them long, and sometimes they style it. But that's because they have waited and they have been patient. They've taken the vitamins. The um, what is that? Um, uh, I, I, I forget what it is. Biotin, right? <clears throat> they they eat well. They make sure that they're healthy and things like that. And they drink a lot of water. A lot of these people who do. Um, <clears throat> do these competitions with beers really work hard at it and I'm not saying that I'm going to enter a beer competition but the, a couple things that I want to say is that let your beer grow right if you want to style it and all of that and there's different styles of beards but if you want to style it let it grow to a long length so you have more to play with and it takes a while it takes months you can't just say oh I want to grow a beard and then in two days you start screwing with the little peach fuzz <laughs> that just doesn't work <clears throat> this beard right here um took 14 months to grow and it's it's about six seven inches but the good thing about this and a lot of a lot of people will see on my other videos um check out my day 11 video the very first one that i posted and you'll see how short my beard was <clears throat> but it <laughs> Anyways, um, <clears throat> I got distracted, but basically, I just want to say that uh, do some research if you want to grow a beard, and don't be discouraged. Like whatever, whatever you can grow, grow it. There's a lot of there's a lot of time lapses on YouTube and, and such, and they show these these kids who have you know like little peach fuzz right here and don't have anything, and in about a year or two, they they're looking like you know they're they have they're a Jewish rabbi. <laughs> it's amazing. <clears throat> so, anyways, um, I might do more. I, I might do some videos on beards and stuff. But oh, one last thing. Um, when I was on methadone, um, this channel is about a lot about addiction and stuff like that. When I was on methadone, my beard was it it fell out a lot. It fell out easily. It started to break. And it just wasn't very good, and 
and I heard that it was because of the testosterone, methadone stops your testosterone, which um, screws with your hair follicles, it screws with your, your hair ability to, to grow and such. But now I'm 13, I'm 13 months out from methadone, and now my beard has grown in probably twice as thick, and I'm just so happy. <clears throat> Anyway, that was, that was my rant on beards. I, I was watching a lot of videos on them and, and just thought it would be interesting to talk about it. Maybe I'll do some more, maybe not. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.